Okay, what's going on everybody? Here we go again, I'm on another Freaktography adventure. And this one, super, super unique. I am in the home of a Canadian neo-Nazi. Basically, the house that I'm inside right now, the room that I'm in right now, the main room, the living room, uh, and the upstairs, this whole place has been designed to look just like Hitler's Bavarian retreat. And uh, I can definitely see some of the similarities in how uh, this would look a lot like a like one of Hitler's retreats. He had many and um, Unfortunately, I, I've got a lot of the history of this place, but I don't have it memorized So I'm gonna have to do some voiceover work to give you guys some history on this house uh, But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the camera. Around. I'm just gonna do some exploring here I'm gonna talk with talk us through the place as I'm exploring and then I'll do some voiceover to give you guys some uh, context about, about this place. But so guys, this is quite the location and uh, not really too sure what to say at this point. I've just literally just got in. It's a very rare nighttime explore for me. So why don't you guys cue the music, cue the intro and uh, let's get this place started. Okay guys, so here we are right now. We are in the main living room area of this house. And I can tell you, um, somewhere in this house, probably right here, there was a uh, oil painting portrait of Adolf Hitler. And you can actually see the spot where the picture hung. And I will show you guys a photo of the, of the picture right here uh, where the picture of Adolf Hitler sat, okay? on the wall. Here we've got some uh, pa some pamphlets, free Monica Schaefer. Monica Schaefer is a Canadian political prisoner kidnapped and held hostage in Germany by the German Thought Police. Very interesting. Very nice staircase here. Um, I hope I can maybe dig up some pictures of this place when the guy lived in it because uh, it's very unique. As you look right here, so there you've got a, a ceiling fixture, a light, and then up here you've got some uh, fake candle lights up on the wall, definitely with a uh, Bavarian flavor. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna move on guys. Let's just go see what's going on back here. too much there's a window there and I'd say that this brickwork is definitely inspired by a Adolf Hitler style bunker as is this woodwork as is the uh, the wallpaper the light fixtures and the floor Moving on in here, you've got a fireplace. And heading down this way. This just looks like a storage room. Really nothing in here. No, nothing in here. And then we've got a couple of other rooms here. This is like a bedroom. Here's a bathroom. Definitely closet and uh, double sinks and a super, super weird shower, guys. So here's this... Uh, Here's the toilet, but then you've got this really small, short little shower right here, all right? And then this is like a bathtub, but it's like, it's in the, it's, it's depressed into the floor. And 
So there's a few shower heads. There's a shower head right there. And then there's a shower head there and a shower head there. And the water from this shower would drip, would, would pour down here and then pour down here into filling up this bathtub. I've never seen anything quite like that. That's a really strange design for a shower. <laughs> Super weird, guys. Okay, guys, so there's something interesting right here. There's a door here. And this room is completely sealed off. I can't get in this room. It's just got this simple little slide lock here, but there's no doorknob and the door won't give. It's completely jammed. So I don't know if there's something in there, but I can't get into it. So here we are again in this interesting German Bavarian designed living room area. And then here's this really cool staircase, guys. Had not upstairs, the same idea with the wallpaper. That's just that there, okay. And then we've got another bathroom here. Plain old simple bathroom, nothing interesting or unique about this one. Anything in here? Nope. Now, I'm a bit disappointed because as I thought I was going to see some kind of Nazi propaganda in here, but it seems that somebody's done a pretty good job of cleaning this place out. Because from what I heard, this house was full of this stuff at one point in time. And then here is a library room. We got up here, nothing, TV, scale. So I heard that the, the man who lives here, he had an autographed copy of Mein Kampf, which is, if you don't know, is Hitler's autobiography. And he had a copy of it signed by Adolf Hitler. My guess is that would have been in this room here, within this library. We've got an empty film canister. And what's this? It doesn't see what's on here. And here we've got a roll of film, but it's empty. There's nothing on it. This is an interesting, very interesting. type of library. Yeah, nothing in there either. That's also empty. This is interesting. I don't know if this is like for laundry or something, but there's this strange little trap door that sends stuff down there. And then here's another library, guys. I'll just head over to this side and I'll show you. And the only book that he's got is One Heart Full of Love by Mother Teresa. And then 
this side is completely empty. It's like these are uh, little apartments that he would rent or something. And it's another one over here. Pretty empty, guys. And that's just a bunch of insulation in there. Got a closet here. Nothing up top. Another room, possibly another library in here. And yeah, there's nothing in the house. The house is totally empty, guys. So let's head back down. So if you take a look here, he's got this exposed brick. And he's painted only a part of it. And he's got this lantern looking light hanging from the wall here. And there's this light thing, there's this window here, mirror here, but there's nothing in it. Yeah, I'm super curious to see what this place would have looked like, guys, when somebody lived here. And then there is a downstairs. There's not really much to it, but we'll go down and take a look anyways. Let's see. Another bathroom. Nothing up there. Looks like there was a fire back there at one point. You can really smell it. This stuff here. Nothing. Here's just a storage room. A wood stove. Water heater and uh, fuse boxes.
Okay guys, so the only actual proof that I could see is this right here. Every one of these panels on the walls has a swastika marked right in the center. See that? There's another one there. Everything else here has been completely scrubbed and rid of anything except for these back here. Every one of these panels. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Disgusting guys, disgusting. Okay guys, that wraps this one up. Hope I've given you guys enough history, enough background. I hope you guys found this place interesting enough to watch through the whole video. And uh, surely an interesting house, very unique, while somewhat disturbing. So nothing silly about this video guys, nothing, no what is up guys in the mirrors, because this type of stuff, not worth joking around about. This stuff has to be taken very seriously. Um, what happened in World War II, World War I, with Hitler and the Nazis, is something that should never be repeated, and in my opinion, not something to be joked about. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Uh, leave your thoughts and your comments down below, and as always, guys, see you on the next adventure. Mm -hmm.